Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Weymouth save on FM20. The full release is out now. I am excited to get stuck into this. Thoroughly enjoyed the beta with Ajax, but now is real the real challenge starts. We are taking Weymouth from the non-league, looking to get all the way up to the Premier League, and looking to challenge for European titles. So, we have been signed on a one-year deal worth 35.5 thousand a year. Extremely excited for this. Quick look at the club. We play in the Bob Lucas Stadium. 6,600 capacity. It was built in 1987. We have a basic training facilities, poor youth facilities, and a fairly basic youth recruitment. We have a one-star reputation, and we are currently projected 10th from the media club history here. Uh, we won the National League South once already in 2006. Uh, this is the league that they won last season to gain promotion into National League South for this upcoming season. They won another league two times back to back in 65 and 66. They won the Conference League Cup in 82, a Challenge Cup, Western League Premier Division twice, and Southern League First Division Southern once. But yeah, quick club background, founded in 1890. The nickname is the Terras. And here is our club overview. Key player is Sam Shering, who is on loan from Bournemouth. You can see here we have a trio of Bournemouth players, so perhaps we have an affiliation with them. But he is the best player. He is a center back, 19 years old. Um, for this level, he has extremely good mentals. Physicals are, are decent, and his technical stats uh, look good in the areas of a center back. And here is the club vision. The club culture is to strive to make progress on and off the pitch. Uh, the five-year plan, it is required that we work within the payroll budget. Uh, I will definitely look to do that. Non-league teams bleed money, and if you go over your wage budget, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. Uh, this season, we are looking to finish mid-table, and the FA Cup is reach the fourth qualifying round, and the FA Trophy reach the first round. And then the following seasons, it looks like they just want us to reach the playoffs. So that is the outline of the five-year plan. I definitely think I am more than capable of doing that. Sure, we'll just leave that all on yes, and we'll go ahead and save this. To the cloud. Okay, and here is the first look at our squad. I'm looking at this for the very first time with you guys. I have it filtered by current ability. So we have two four and a half star players. First one is Josh McQuaid. He is 29 years old, a Northern Ireland right winger. Doesn't look like the best player. I've ever seen. Does have some decent physical stats and his technicals look good for a right winger, uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing him on the left side as an inside forward. And then the other one is Sam Shearing, who we already looked at. Definitely looks like he's going to be a very key player for us. Uh, and we do have a four-star striker, Brett Williams. Looks to be very, very decent. Good physicals and very good finisher with 13. Mentals are all blue, so they are extremely good for this level. Hopefully he can bang some goals in for us. Last year he was in the National League with Sutton. Uh, 22 appearances, only 3 goals, which is a bit worrying. Um, 
but looking at his stats, he has some football league experience with Rotherham, Northampton, and Stevenage. And then next up, we have a four-star left back, Ali Harfield, 21 years old. He looks very solid, balanced fullback, can crouch the ball in when he gets forward, and he's more than capable of defending 12 tackling, 10 marking, and he has 12 passing as well. Mentals look good, and his physicals are not bad either. 13 stamina, very decent. Uh, another center back, Ricardo Morris. Uh, he actually looks pretty good technically. 13 marking, 13 heading, 11 tackling. His other technicals are definitely not good, but... He was definitely an old-fashioned, nonsense center back. Uh, his mentals is a bit worrying. He only has one for determination. Uh, his physicals are, are good, though. Looking at his career stats, he has yet to make any league appearances. That's a bit of a concern, uh, but somehow he has 17 international appearances for Barbados. So interesting there. Uh, another center back on loan is Sean Hobson from Bournemouth. Uh, yeah, it look like he will be slotting in with Sam Shearing. Looks very solid for his technicals, mentals, and his physicals. Look really, really good for this level. And then the other loanee is Callum Ward, who is our goalkeeper. Uh, very decent technicals. His physicals are not super good, um, but he does have 13 jumping reach. Uh, his agility and balance are a little lower than I would have liked, uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure for this level he's gonna he's gonna do all right for us. Any other notable players? Not too much. Uh, Andy Robinson is currently selected as a starter. He is a box-to-box -box midfielder. Uh, he, he looks he looks pretty decent, actually. Uh, just an all-around decent player. Nothing really to stand out. He does have 12 for long shots and 13 for free kick taking. I think he will be our dead ball specialist. Uh, again, only one for the determination. That's definitely a worry. Uh, I want a strong mental squad and when you only have one for determination that that's like the worst stat you can possibly see in football manager is one for determination uh, other starters is abdullah baggy he is an international for sierra leone uh, he looks like he could be a decent left inside forward but he does have extremely good determination 15 uh, we'll just take a look at his career stats. Um, he probably has the best experience so far. He has decent amount of football league experience, even in League One. So we'll see how he gets on. Uh, right back is Ashley Wells. Uh, definitely look like we should improve him. He does have good physicals, but everything else looks kind of poor. But as things stand, he is our current right back. Uh, Josh Wakefield, central midfielder. Decent all around as well. Best look like his mental, but again, very low determination. Career stats, he comes from Bournemouth. Uh, not too much experience but has been with Weymouth for the past two seasons and our final starter as things stand is Jordan Rose uh, he is playing as a defensive midfielder but doesn't look too capable of that role uh, he has good physicals and mentals technicals for his center back aren't bad either uh, will probably be on the bench or maybe not because we only have five slots on the bench. But we shall see. Uh, nothing else really to note. Uh, do we have a under 19? 
we do anything to note in here. Oh, these are all gray players. Uh, we do have a couple of under 23 players. Uh, Callum Buckley has decent potential. He is a left back. I uh, will go ahead and send him up to the senior squad. Uh, we'll do it for everybody. For preseason. So that is a first look at our squad. But chances are the next time you see the squad, there will be a decent amount of new players. At least fingers crossed. And so yeah, you can see here that my current tactic is going to be the same one that I used with Ajax. I definitely am prepared to scrap this idea if it doesn't work out, which I know is a great chance of that happening. If that is the case, I will come up with a 4-4-2 uh, a for our lower league team here. But definitely going to give this a shot first because I'm stubborn like that. Uh, it looks like we definitely need to get a defensive midfielder and maybe some more wingers. I'm looking at our, our squad right now. Uh, it looks like we have a lot of defenders, but not a lot of other players in other positions. Uh, looking at our finances, we have 22000 in the bank, uh, zero for the transfer budget, not a surprise. We have a payroll of 357000 and we're currently spending uh, 332000 So we actually have a decent amount of money to spend. The problem will be actually attracting players that will want to join our squad. Switching over to our staff, you can see that is very bare bones. You have me, Tom Prodomo as a coach. We'll take a quick look at him. Uh, not super great. He is good with youngsters, but not very good at anything else. Uh, we also have a goalkeeping coach, Robbie Yates. Uh, again, decent with youngsters. As actual coaching, not so great. We have a slot for an assistant coach and head of youth development. I'll be looking to get those in as soon as possible. Recruitment team, we have a general manager. Uh, don't really use them too much. They tend to just not be good and make dumb decisions. They'll offer a bunch of contracts to crappy youth players. And then you'll get flooded in with crappy youth players. Not my not my thing. Uh, we have vacancy for chief scout, uh, chief data analyst, a regular scout, and another scout. Medical team, head physio, and probably a physio, yep. So I'll be looking to fill those out with some new staff members. Not really worried about our under eight, 18 and under 23 staff right now. Don't really have any players for those teams yet, so not really a big deal. But I'll be hiring staff for those positions as well, just not my top priority right now. And then just for confirmation here, you can see that I don't have any coaching badges. So that's set to none. And my past experience is a Sunday League soccer player. So I have a lot of bad attributes right now. But it'll be interesting to see how we are able to progress. But yeah, that is where we're actually going to just end this episode today. When we come back, we will have played through our preseason Hopefully we'll get some players in that will improve our squad and we will be playing our first game in the National League South, taking on Eastburn Borough. Make sure you are subscribed so you can follow this journey. It's going to be a long, long series as we look to progress up the English Pyramid to the Premier League. So 
Until next time, it's been your boy, 147.